A little bit of a different piece of news now. It stood up to a metre high. It weighed about seven kilograms and had a beak capable of cracking open other birds. The world's largest parrot, dubbed Squawkzilla, once wandered terrain deep in the heart of the Maniototo in central Otago. Evidence of what's called a truly gigantic parrot has been found by scientists from Australia and New Zealand among 19 million year old fossils. Here's Tracy Neal with the story. Long ago, the part of New Zealand where these birds lived was lush, tropical and warm. The discovery of Heracles inexpectatus, named for its Herculean myth-like size and strength, has made these scientists the world's first to find an extinct giant parrot. Professor Sue Han from the University of New South Wales in Sydney, who is part of the discovery team, says it's an exciting find. This is an, an extraordinary find. It's not something that we expected. This whole site, you know, the St. Bathans site in South Island of New Zealand is, is pretty significant. It fills a, a big gap in the fossil record. The New Zealand fossil is about twice the size of the critically endangered flightless New Zealand kākāpō, previously the largest known parrot. A senior curator of natural history at the Canterbury Museum says the clues lie in the few bones found. Paul Schofield says they believe the giant parrot to be related to the kia, the kaka and the kakapo. So we've got two of the leg bones and the, the legs are um, more than twice the size of, of a kakapo. So that makes us very confident that um, what we're dealing with is a giant kakapo-like bird. News of the discovery broke this morning and it didn't take long to reach the ears of the Rewalker-based Tasman Parrot Club. Founder Brent Marshall says the club would have been thrilled to have had something like a giant parrot wandering around today. <laughs> Quite amazing, really. I mean, Kakapo being the largest, uh, it's like having the half eagle around, but he's on the ground. While a picture is now forming of what it might have looked like, how it might have sounded is anyone's guess. But Mr Marshall says it would have been loud. Well, well Kakapo's quite a noisy little guy. Kia and Kaka are both quite noisy little fellows as well. So I, I would imagine it would, be, it would be quite noisy. It wouldn't be a screech, I wouldn't think, more of a Kakapo boom sort of thing. He says millions of years ago, New Zealand would have been like a massive aviary with few predators. Mr Schofield says it's one reason New Zealand is known for its fat and flightless giant birds. An associate professor at Flinders University, Trevor Worthy, says in some ways the find is not surprising. New Zealand had more than its fair share of giant birds. It has had the greatest diversity of what we call avian giants for any landmass in the world. And now we can add to that a, the first instance of a giant parrot. Professor Worthy says the latest find is likely to excite global interest. On two levels we've got you know, a giant parrot, which parrots are clever things. You can imagine what an animal approaching a, a metre tall might have done if it was in a car park in a ski field. It adds another whole group of birds that had the propensity to become avian giants. Professor Sue Hand says while they can chart how the parrots arrived and thrived in the location, why they didn't survive is a mystery. But it may be linked to the changing climate and its impact on food source. What we're learning from that period in New Zealand is that it was much warmer than it is today. So vegetation probably a little bit different, including things like palms and laurels. Squawkzilla is estimated to have had a beak big enough to crack wide open anything it fancied, perhaps even other parrots. Brent Marshall of the Tasman Parrot Club says evidence that our native birds have a taste for meat exists today. Pukeko and, uh, and Weka all eat other animals, you know, they're, they're great rat and mouse hunters, those, those fellas. So you've got to be quite careful when you lay poison if there's um, those kind of birds around. Professor Worthy says Heracles is a spectacular find, but it's likely the site hasn't yet yielded all its secrets. For Checkpoint, Tracy Neal.